In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a basic paint out. We're focusing on getting a good track and making a decent clean plate. To start, we're going to create a tracker set to tracks and we're going to track both of the top corners simultaneously. Once that's done, we're going to set the trackers transform to stabilize and we're going to check the track that we got. It has to be perfect or else this is not going to work. Next, you're going to create a frame hole set on frame one, attach it to the plate and then you're gonna press P to create a paint node. Select the blur option and set its opacity to 0.2 as we don't want the result to be harsh. Start blurring the water as we wanna remove the reflections of the trees without touching the actual trees as its color will surely contaminate the color of the water. Select the clone tool and set it to a lower opacity just like before and we're gonna dive into a technique called the paint in which basically consists of bridging the patterns on the sides of the object that we wanna remove by gradually eating into the edges of the object by clone stamping. And we do this by offsetting the source of the clone stamp and pushing in the result into the corresponding edge of the object. We do this on one side and then on the other, repeating this process as many times as it takes until the patterns meet and blend in nicely. This will work for most areas. However, the area that I'm tackling right now has too much random detail going on, but we can actually use this to our advantage. We're just gonna clone stamp detail as it is without actually blending it in or connecting anything. And it'll work well because we're being consistent with what we're seeing on the screen, we're just putting more random detail on the areas that we want to cover. And the same logic applies to the clouds because they have this detailed pattern going on as well. Once you have applied this logic throughout and did some polishing as well, you're going to arrive at a result that looks similar to this. Next, we're going to go to our paint node and select all of the modifications that we've made and we're going to set their lifetime to all. Then we're going to create a roto node right below our paint node, making sure we're taking the replace option. Then we're going to draw a roto shape that encapsulates all of the changes that we've made. Next, we're going to create an edge blur. We're going to set the size to five and we're going to make sure that we're only modifying the alpha channel. Once that's said, we're going to add a pre mult. Next, we're going to create a merge node. We're going to have the plate coming through the B pipe and our clean plate through the A pipe. Then we're going to grab the tracker and put it right below the pre mult and we're going to set its transform to match mold. And that's pretty much it. If you look at the result, you can see that it actually works perfectly well. The only thing that I would mention about the painting technique is it should never be your first choice. You should always try to find a less time consuming way of creating your clean plate and leave this technique for polishing and small details if possible. However, since this is a beginner's tutorial, I think it's important for you to get comfortable with this technique and become good at it. To develop an instinct of when you should actually use it and when you should try something else. If you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment below and I'll make sure to answer. Also, please do me a favor and like the video just to make sure that like the content that I'm doing is actually helpful for you. Also, please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of the lessons that I'm sharing with you in this channel.